Cardiff Mets are flying high this season in the Buck Super League. It's four weeks in and they find themselves in the top three of the league after winning their last three fixtures. And tonight they host Durham University here at King Coyd. One guy that's catching everyone's eye at the moment is Archer's captain Tom Morgan. He's the leading scorer across the Bucks League at the moment. And interestingly enough, the Archers haven't actually lost a game whilst he's been captain. But whilst the Archers can't stop scoring, Durham can't stop stopping teams from scoring as they've conceded the least amount of points per game this season. So we've got the unstoppable force against the unmovable Giants and it's coming up for you next. and the archers are leading by 19 to 9 and the crowd and me we're all having a whale of a time so i'm here with gareth Shawelin, a former welsh international with over 90 caps gareth you're watching your son max tonight you must be a really proud dad tonight watching him play you know, it's great that he's made the, uh, the buck side uh, for the Super Nines and um, yeah, they're doing pretty well. They had a good start to the game, obviously Durham are coming back into it now, but uh, hopefully they can bring it home. Have you got a final score prediction for us and how you're going to see things going? Well, I think, uh, you know, if they can just keep hold of the ball a little bit and play mm -hmm. and stop giving penalties away, then, um, you know, they should do okay and bring it home, really. So we're here with Danny Wilson, Director of Rugby at the Cardiff Blues. He's here at King Coyd this evening supporting the boys. What do you think of the game so far, Danny? Well, it's been an excellent game so far, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, a very dominant first half display from Cardiff Met. Mm -hmm. and now Durham uh, pinching that try there has got them right back in the game. I think it makes for an exciting uh, final sort of quarter to this game. I think, I think one thing you'll say about Danny is he's a very um, hard-working coach. I know he'll put the hours in it for us, for perhaps... Uh, pains me to pay him any compliments but i got to say uh, I think he's doing a good job so far and uh, hopefully he can build on the Chris Davy years. Tough, it was a tough 20 minutes after the second half, but the boys just dug deep. We were under a lot of pressure. Their kicker was taking every point he could get. But I think that grit and determination towards the end of the second half pulled us through, and credit to the boys there. Great effort. Pleased with a little bit of the attack we saw first half to get the three tries early on the board, and we managed to cut Durham a few times, which was really pleasing. It's an area we've been focusing on. Uh, but I suppose we continue to be defensively quite strong, and I think that's bringing us through a lot of games at the moment. Uh, that's a big moment for me, because Durham, are, they think they're a top four side. I think today we've shown now that's where we're going. Top three, top four, we've arrived a bit tonight because not only did we put a bit more together and attack to score those three tries, a little disappointed mind we didn't get that bonus. Flat packs then for 20 minutes before half time and then you start the second half, but the energy for the last 20 minutes was fantastic. <coughs> so congratulations, well done, lots to be proud of, thank you very much. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Another one! 